the Skoda 1000 MBX Deluxe Turn 50. The elegant two-door celebrated its debut at the International Motor Show in Geneva in March 1966. The spacious five-seater with rear engine and rear-wheel drive was launched into series production in the October of the same year. The model represented the pinnacle of the one-liter class in its day. The legendary two-door Skoda 1000 MBX with its liberally glazed body crowned the success of the first Czech large production car, the four-door Skoda 1000 MB, says Andrea Freidlova, head of the Skoda Museum. This makes the vehicle an important milestone in Skoda's history. The production figures increased significantly throughout the 1960s in Lada Volstlov. Many progressive technologies in mass production caught on, including high-pressure die casting for cylinder and crank cases, as well as gearbox casing. The MBX was based on the mass-produced four-door Skoda 1000 MB, which boasted a modern monocoque body and the engine was installed behind the driven rear axle. Skoda built an entirely new plant in the immediate vicinity of the existing factory buildings in Lada Volsla for the construction of the Skoda 1000 MB at the beginning of the 1960s. The new production plant comprised modern facilities with more than 40 production halls and other buildings on the 80-hectare site. The history of the two-door MBX dates back to 1960 when the two prototypes to the Skoda 990 Tudor were being built. The special bodywork with clearly negative sloping rear pillars that flow into the panoramic rear window and two doors with frameless windows was created at the Kvissini plant. The body shell retained the generous space of the original notchback with an enhanced side view. It was not only the driver and front passenger that could wind down the door windows, but also the passengers in the back could open the small windows in the rear. The Skoda 1000 MBX Deluxe was first presented to the public at the opening of the Geneva Motor Show on March 10, 1966. The model delighted the visitors with the originality of its shape. The two-door gave the impression of not having a central pillar with its extensively glazed surfaces. In fact, the center pillar ended in the middle of the vehicle body under the window line, and its narrower upper portion could be rolled down together with the rear side windows. At this moment, the occupants could enjoy brilliant views and an exceptionally airy and spacious interior. The Skoda 1000 MB and the two-door MBX set standards in innovative engine and drive technology. In terms of engine manufacturing, Skoda was the first European producer ever to incorporate the aluminum die casting process in cylinder block production. The four-speed transmission case was also produced using this construction method. Thus, Skoda built on a process originally devised in 1922 by Czech engineer Joseph Polik, the main advantage being significantly shorter production times. Thanks for watching my videos, don't forget like, share and comment.